Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In this video, I'm going to show you guys my updated art desk tour. I did a desk makeover video a while back which a lot of you guys seem to like and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm moving into a separate art studio space. So I wanted to film this video before moving because I love this setup so so much and a lot has changed since the last desk video. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the desk itself if you guys haven't seen the old desk makeover video i highly recommend you to see that first this countertop was originally wood laminated but i diy'd it and put a marble contact paper on top because i wanted white background on my videos i did prefer the wood laminate in terms of aesthetics because it looked really warm but the white background just made sense for the background of my videos so let's start with these drawers in this drawer i have some new mini canvas and diy stuff in this one i have my stamp pad more stamps this one has my nail cutting things and a watercolor palette this one has washi tapes that I use a lot and the top drawer just has a watercolor palette up there I have a painting that I made myself this is a painting that I saw on Pinterest and I recreated it because I really like the colors the seashell is something that I got from an Instagram store called Zestasia or Zestasia I'm not sure and I also have a little Eiffel Tower I love these flowers that are on my desk. They're these really pretty pink and purple color. This plant is a jade plant and I really love how it looks on my desk. It is from I Am The Gardener. And then this mobile holder. This is one of my favorite purchases from Stationery Pal. Adjustable as well. You can adjust the height of it. Next, let's talk about the calendar. As you guys know, I did not come out with my own calendar like last year. So this year, I've just been making my own <laughs> calendar pages. This was January. This was probably my favorite. And all of them have like Taylor Swift lyrics on them. And this one is March. I did like a leaves green theme for March. And it's the same theme as my bullet journal next i have a little pencil holder this is also from stationery pal it's not completely transparent which i really like and it just has all of my most used pens and stationery if you guys have been following me for a while you know that i have had the sunflower on my desk since i started my instagram page and i love it i love how it looks and i am taking this to the new setup as well and the rest are just paint brushes this candle holder it just has a really dirty candle inside when you light the candle the light escapes from all of these little holes and it looks so good this lamp which is from i think it's from a subso and it just comes with three different light settings next i have this little acrylic drawer i think this is from mini so i'm not sure but i just use this to store my stickers and some of my diy stuff and some stationery as well and more stickers this is the recent diy that i did and i just put this up here let's just go through everything that's on my windowsill they're mostly paint brushes but i also kept this little diy thing from my paper roses video and i just think it looks really nice on the windowsill and this one has my old brushes that one is my expensive brushes collection and yeah that's basically it and here I just have my DIY crystal hanging and this is just my sun catcher. The next thing on my desk is my bullet journal. This year I've been using the journal from Stationery Pal. I absolutely love this bullet journal. The quality is amazing and I've been using this every day in 2024. I also have a little cute pink pen to go with that and this is also from Stationery Pal. Okay, let's move on to everything that is on my wall. I get so many questions about this wall grid and I got this from Miniso a really long time ago and they don't sell these anymore. If you guys know where I can get a wall grid like this, let me know in the comments. 
because a lot of you guys have been asking about this and I just have no answer. So let's start with this. These are mini prayer flags. This was actually gifted to me by a follower and this has been hanging on my desk ever since and I absolutely love it. On the wall grid, I think everything on here are paintings made by myself. I got this off from my 2023 Dreamer calendar. This was for February and I just love it so much. This one is my own creation, this one as well. This one is from Koi Koi Nepal and this is a postcard that I got from my Europe trip. Next, that mandala is something that I did when I first started my art journey in 2020 or 2019, I don't remember. And the rest are more postcards from my Europe trip. As for on top, both of these are fake plants. I cut a part of the fake fine and hung it over there and this one is also a fake plant and it looks kind of real from far away which i love but it brings the perfect addition of green to my desk now if you have seen my previous desk tour or setup video you guys know that this desk does not come with any storage at all and i think in the last video i showed you guys the extra set of drawers that i had to buy for this desk to store all of my art supplies and after that i think i've bought more storage stuff so i'm gonna show you guys that as well because i think it is a part of my whole desk setup this was the chest of drawers that i bought last time and since then i have added this storage card and another mini storage card let's start with these drawers on top i have my peace lily which is one of my oldest plants and one of the first plants that i ever got these are my favorite flowers for decorating the handles are kind of gone and I have no idea where they are but they still work so let's start with this drawer I have all of my paint supplies this basket has all of my acrylic paint and this one has most of my gouache and watercolors and this is basically my paint drawer on the next one I have a variety of stuff so this one is I think this is my feather pen Yes, it is and I also have my wax kit in here and I have my pouring paint kit in here I don't want to show you everything else but that's basically it and I have more notebooks down there on the very last drawer I have my DIY supplies this is the most unorganized drawer I just have my glue gun some wire basically just random DIY supplies Next, we have our storage cards. Both are from Dara's and I really love this one. This fits a lot, but I still needed more space. So I got the small one. So let's start with this one. It just has a lot of random stuff. Top of white acrylic paint and this little card holds all of my nail polish. You can see there's a lot of black in here. And then I have some washi tape boxes over here on the next year i have more of these this just has like journaling supplies and this little box it has all of my dried flowers there's so much in here okay on the very last shelf more washi tape I think these are from Miniso. This is my favorite storage card. I also have a black one downstairs that I use in my kitchen. This one has everything that I normally reach for. There's also a little perfume bottle in here. I use this for packaging sometimes so that my package smells really nice. I have all of my brush pens, markers, and then on top I have some of these paper clips. And then on this one, I have my Goose, Mod Podge, more pouring paints, Monami Plus pen set over here. And then this is my wooden alphabet stamps and I have my little art journal supplies in this little wooden box. On the next shelf, this acrylic holder contains all of my washi tapes, watercolor set over here. This is the paintbrush cleaner. You put water in here and then the water comes out into this pool and you can just clean your brush over there and you can flush it using that button. This is one of the coolest things that I've got from Stationery Pal. On the very last shelf, a paper cutter, pencil case, new fresh canvas over here, some DIY supplies in this little chest over here. Now, if you can see back there, I have my typewriter. I don't normally use it every day, which is why it's at the back, but let me show you guys anyway. Thank you. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of my art desk. I know it's not a lot to show but I just love this setup so much and I just wanted to make this video so that I could look back at it. Also as I mentioned I'm moving into a separate art studio space so I will be starting my new art studio makeover series here very soon so keep a lookout for that. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!